Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Ken here, and as you can see on the screen, I have Mac OS X line right now, and this was the build that was seeded to the developers last week. Now, this is really cool. Obviously, Lion is an iOS implementation on um, on Mac OS X for the most part. As you can see here, we have this uh, this thing here called Launchpad, and it gives you an iOS home screen-ish look, uh, showing all of your apps from your applications folder on the screen. Uh, of course, if I had more apps, I would be able to scroll through here, but uh, you can see that that works pretty well. It's really nice. Now, what's really cool is that you are able to run full screen apps, and essentially that's possible by clicking on this full screen icon on the top right hand side of some of the windows within some of the applications on the uh, OS. So this is Safari right here. I could, I could click on this icon, and as you can see, it goes into full screen. Now what's cool is that, um, well first of all, I'm using a magic mouse here. Uh, if you use the two finger scroll left and right, you can scroll through the different screens here. As you can see, I have uh, multiple uh, full screens open. First, this is mail. I have my RSS feed open here from Apple News because I didn't want to show you guys my personal email. Uh, I can scroll through to my uh, uh, Safari window here that I have uh, Twitter open in. And uh, what's cool is that there's a lot of uh, implementation of uh, finger gestures here. Uh, for example, if I were to one finger left gesture, that would bring yourself back one page on Safari, which is really cool. And uh, it uh, like if you if you'll see, um, very very iOS ish when you when you scroll up and down. As you can see, there's inertial scrolling, which isn't new to Mac OS X, but the windows actually do look like they have inertia, like in uh, iOS. As you can see, you could see some of the gray part above Twitter here, and uh, that's pretty insane. Um, it definitely looks eye-pleasing, and uh, it's, I don't know if it's really useful. It's really not useful, but it's definitely eye candy. Now, you can scroll left and right again using two fingers, and um, you can see here that I have my uh, my dashboard, and that's also accessible with the two finger swipe. Now uh, they do have this uh, feature called Mission Control, which is essentially like Expose, except it shows all of your windows open. And in addition to that, it allows you to peek through, as you can see there, and pick individual. Uh, windows and full screen apps as well this is a pretty cool feature if you want to switch through windows uh, very very easily and when you're in a full screen app you can also access mission control and just go straight to the home page and click on one of the open windows that are there um, let's go into finder here and you'll notice that it's very very different as you can see the icons are monochrome now they're all uh, not Snow Leopardish, I guess. Um, as you can see, the inertial scrolling right here, it's definitely iOS ish. Um, they, they really want to take this thing to the world of iOS, which is pretty cool. Uh, I didn't know how it was going to work or if it was going to work here online, but it looks like they did a very good job with it. I'm sorry if I'm jumping around, but one thing I forgot to mention to you guys was that in Launchpad, you can actually have folders, which is really cool. Uh, by the way, all of these, again, correspond to what's in your applications folder. So there is a folder on my applications folder called Utilities, and we're just going to go click on Utilities, and as you can see, it's a very iOS-ish type folder. That's pretty cool. See so you guys. The design of the um, of the line interface isn't that much different from the Snow Leopard interface. However, it is worth noting that there are a lot of design changes. As I said before, the whole left side here is monochrome. That's definitely different, and they highlight the fact that you could select all of the files now or see all the files. And what's cool is that uh, they change up Quick Look. That's one of the first things that I noticed, and uh, that's my cousin Rob there. And yeah, they changed up quick look as you can see. And uh, you could have this little plus thing here to bring it to original size again if you do decide to resize it. 
And in addition to that, you have the option to open it with preview or full screen mode if you do wish to do so. And just like that, you can uh, also switch through uh, windows uh, using the two finger swipe. However, this doesn't stay in full screen. Um, let's see what else is here. They changed up the orbs a tiny bit. It's really not that noticeable, but they made them a little bit glossier and a little bit brighter. And they don't, the colors don't really pop as much as the one on Snow Leopard. But uh, nonetheless, it does match the uh, scheme of the whole interface here. Um, you'll notice that things like these little buttons here actually slide just like in iOS. And uh, that's really cool as well. What you'll notice is that this whole OS is actually full of uh, transitions and effects. And I can't really show you all of them because I don't know how to initiate a lot of them. But I could tell you that there are a lot of effects like Genie effects. Well, not really like Genie. This is Genie uh, just popping out of nowhere like that. Um, there's actually like magic uh, poof. Uh, I don't know what you call it. Uh, if you open up a new window or if some random dialogue opens up, um, it just appears like really smoothly. But there's like this weird motion that it does. I can't really describe it to you that great. This also does come with an updated version of FaceTime. As you can see here, uh, we will uh, go to about FaceTime here. And it's 1.1. I believe the one on the actual store is version 1.0. So that's cool also. So what you'll notice, guys, is Line is very backwards compatible with apps from, you know, Snow Leopard, Leopard, etc. Uh, first of all, I did download this from the App Store. This is the um, the Twitter app. And, uh, yeah, this works pretty seamlessly. Nothing really going on here that will make me mad. Um, I was also running ScreenFlow, which I'm actually using right now to uh, record this. Uh, also use the Waken and Transmission and Skype. And all of those seem to work seamlessly, though Skype tends to crash in every OS that it's in uh, in terms of Mac. So I'm not really too uh, worried about that. But... Uh, yeah, generally backwards compatible, which is really, really good so far because I don't think there's that many um, changes to the Lion OS where apps wouldn't work with it. So, I mean, all they really have to do is make their apps compatible with like the full screen capabilities and uh, uh, that's really it, I guess. I, I don't think they have to change anything else. But uh, yeah, this is really cool though. I'm really liking Lion right now. And uh, I can't wait till this actually gets released. But other than that, guys, um, that's really it. Again, my name is Ken, also known as the Tech Guy. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe to this channel. I'm probably going to put this on my second channel just in case Apple decides to come after me with this video. But uh, yeah, this was um, on Diartsy which is my uh, second channel, which is where I do my unboxings and off-color videos. And uh, also, please subscribe to my main channel as well, The Tech 8, which will be in the description below as well as in an annotation on your screen. And other than that, guys, I'll see you later. Goodbye.